Winner from the July 2018 cohort, Gurpia Singh. Winner from the November 2018 cohort, Mr. Kim Kuan Yen. Thank you, Mr. Gurpia Singh.
and um, he's a very pragmatic leader and will draw on his business experience, both um, his role today when he's working with IBM as the global um, initiative executive with the National West Bank, sorry, not that one, National Australia, National Australia Bank. And um, he's been in introducing automation, robotics, artificial intelligence, blockchain and talking that through the National Australia Bank. I'm sure we can all appreciate that diversity um, in people and in technology and inclusion is very important in the years going forward in this area. So without more ado, I'd like to ask you to help me welcome Sean O'Donnell. Opportunity or the threat. 
In October 2012, the Hillard government released the White Paper, Australia in the Asian Century. The second paragraph of the executive summary reads as follows. Asia's extraordinary ascent has already changed the Australian economy, society and strategic environment. The scale and pace of the change, still to come, mean Australia is entering a truly transformative period in our history. For any enterprise to thrive in modern Australia, it needs to mirror the society in which it hopes to succeed. To position the business for success, I needed to change the makeup of the team. I needed to take it on a journey to diversity, and I needed to do it very quickly. I needed more senior women. I needed ethnic diversity. I needed linguistic diversity, and I needed cultural diversity. In the simplest terms, I needed more women whose first language